how's it going? It's Tim. I'm a commercial photographer and video maker in the UK. I'm also um, quite keen on tattoos. So I saw a couple of uh, cool posts on Instagram recently where people have got shots of tattoos that seem to light up and glow and animate and do kind of cool stuff. I figured I should probably learn how to do that. So I've been playing with two different ways of doing it. The first way is to brush on step by step like stop motion using the brush tool in After Effects with some glow. The second way is to use Video Copilot's Sabre plugin um, and do some crazy stuff with that. So I thought in this video, let's show you both ways. Uh, you can decide which one you prefer um, and give them a go. So first up, uh, this is how it looks stop motion on uh, this arm here. And then here's how it looks using the Sabre plugin on uh, this arm. Believe me that you about to oh, let's go now. So that first clip uh, was made with a brushing effect in After Effects. Now it's super simple and super bold, but it is time consuming. To create this effect, uh, you make a copy of your video layer. So you've got two layers uh, in your composition. On that top one, you double click it, then grab your paintbrush and go to the brush settings and choose single frame. Now my previous video, which I'll link above and below, um, we use the right on effect and that creates an animation following um, your brush movements. But for this, we want to have control and just paint per cell. So choose your brush size, uh, choose your color and just literally just paint on. You can use page up and page down buttons to scroll forwards and backwards through your clip um, and gradually paint on lines. So you can paint on lines that get longer, uh, that follow around shapes. You could do like dots, whatever shape you want to do. Uh, to create your neon effect. Now because we've used a second layer to paint on rather than our original layer, we can now go and click on um, paint on transparent and turn that on within our effect um, settings. Yeah, effect settings. Um, and what that does is makes the video transparent but keeps the painted lines we've created. Then I grabbed the uh, neon glow or the glow effect, uh, applied it to the layer and a bit of Gaussian blur as well, just to soften it up even more, make it a bit more sort of glowy. As simple as that, um, it just took time. Now as a guide, the clip I showed you took about four hours. So really time consuming, but super fun um, and a really nice effect. For the second clip, it was really lovely to get a chance to sit down and use the Video Copilot uh, Sabre plugin. It's a free plugin from the guys who did work on some of the Star Wars movies um, and it's incredible, especially as a free product. Now, as the name suggests, um, it's really good as a lightsaber effect. But for us, the important thing is we can also uh, track the effect with the outlines of masks. So as an example, uh, with the stars going up my arm, uh, I created a mask per star. So I drew the mask um, in the original video layer and then used the mask tracking to automatically track it. So I had an animated mask in the shape of the star. I then cut and pasted that mask onto a new solid layer and set the visibility to add. That way the layer basically disappears um, and leaves behind the video underneath. Then I grabbed the Sabre plugin, pulled it across and told it to look to the mask uh, for its shape. Uh, it's as simple as that. Now when you do uh, use the Sabre plugin, it seems to want to be super, super bright. So go to your glow intensity and pull it back. Um, and from there you can get in and change the shape and set the in and out points to make it animate and all kinds of cool stuff. Now rather than try and tell you here how to do that, um, there's a link in the description down below for Video Code Pilot's own tutorial. Um, bit of a rarity, but there, the people who made the plugin's own tutorial uh, is about the best I can find out there. So uh, definitely worth a look. Um, yeah, if you get stuck though, uh, give me a shout. Uh, Instagram at Tim Shapcott. Uh, always happy to help. Million dollar question Which of these techniques is the most valid, is the best? And truth is, they're both valid and there's not really a best. Yes, using Sabre is probably faster and definitely way more accurate. Um, but the more playful, bold style I think works really nicely as well. And they've both got their place. 
and they're both good things to have in your arsenal depending on the project um but definitely download saber and give it a go super fun uh, it's a few years old now but it definitely doesn't look dated and some of the other stuff you can do with it is just crazy too you can apply it to text um and do amazing things with text you can apply it to masks do amazing things with masks um super hyped glad i've spent some time on it and definitely definitely using it again awesome hope you enjoyed that as much as i enjoyed making it um i think there's lots to be learned and there's some really cool techniques that come from this um if you did hit like and if you want to see more of this kind of video uh twice a week i do hints and tips for photography and video um hit subscribe uh until then have an awesome week and i'll catch you later see ya